Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm answering a question here uh, upon the request of one of the viewers. This is question number 10 from the June 2016 Core Mathematics C12 paper from Edexcel International A Level. And they've asked me to answer question 10. Part A and B of this question relate to P1. And part uh, C of this question relates to P2 of Edexcel. So I'm going to save part A and B in one video and part C in a separate video. Okay, so part A is related to sketching curves. So it says a curve C has equation Y equals sine of the angle X plus pi over 4. And they're told that the, uh, the graph that we have to draw here, or, or this curve C, is restricted between 0 and 2 pi. The X values, this domain you can say, is between 0 and 2 pi. So on the axis below, we need to sketch this curve C. So we've got to sketch this curve between 0 and 2 pi. Now, they haven't marked any markings here for us. So I'm going to mark them myself because there's 0. And let's say this is 2 pi. So about halfway between them is pi. You could use a ruler to do, to do this if you want to, to be more precise. Then we have pi over 2, which is like 90 degrees. Then halfway between pi and 2 pi is 3 pi over 2. That's like 90, 180, 270, and 360 in terms of radians. Pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw the graph of y equals the sine of x. And then I'm going to think about how this will look. Um, so you could do this in your exam by drawing, of course, using a pencil. Okay, first, if you want to make sure. So we know that the graph of sine x we should know that it goes through 0, 0. Okay, if you don't know that, then you can just put in your calculator, sine 0, give you 0. And the sine of pi over 2, the sine of 90 is 1. So I'm going to also put here um, 1 and minus 1, about the same distance below. Again, you could use a ruler to make sure. So pi over 2, 1, that's where this curve of y equals sine x would go through. It's not the actual answer, but it's something that we're going to use as a basis of getting the answer. And then it goes through pi and zero. If you're not sure, sine pi over two, if you put that in the calculator in radian mode, it'll give you one. Sine of pi, again in radian mode, it'll give you zero. Sine of three pi over two is negative one. So it's gonna go somewhere through here. And then sine of two pi is zero again. So the curve of y equals sine x will look something like this. Try and do it as neat as you can. I'm gonna maybe adjust some of my points after I've drawn it. Because the important thing for me is to draw it correctly. So th this point, I'll move it there slightly. And yeah, it's just a sketch, so it's not such a big deal. All right, so now that's how y equals sine x looks. Okay, so now how does y equals sine of x plus pi over four look? So if you compare this, if you, if you say that sine of x is f of x, then y equals sine of x plus pi over 4 would be the same as y equals f of x plus pi over 4. Okay, so this is a transformation where it's inside the function. Okay, it's f x plus a. That transformation is a translation okay where the movement or the change happens in the horizontal direction because it's inside the function if it was fx plus a then it would be a vertical trans transformation a vertical vertical translation but this is horizontal and the horizontal translations kind of act like opposite so if it says x plus pi over four it means it's a translation of zero on the uh, sorry Of if it says plus pi over four, it's going to be a translation of pi over four in negative pi over four, the opposite of this zero. Okay, that's what it's going to be. So that means everything moves pi over four to the left. Okay, so that, that means basically that this curve is going to move, all the points are going to basically be translated pi over four units 
to the left. Okay, so for example, this point which was 0, 0 is now going to go to minus pi over 4, 0. And pi over 2 is going to go to pi over 4, 1. Okay, so this is going to go to pi over 2, pi over 4, 1. And pi is going to go to um, over here. So basically this is 0. This is um, in terms of pi over 4. This is going to be, this is 1 pi over 4. This is 2 pi over 4. This is 3 pi over 4. I'm going to put all these halfway values in because we're going to need them. That's 4 pi over 4. This is 5 pi over 4. This is 6 pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 2. And this is 7 pi over 4. And this is 8 pi over 4. So I've put all the, uh, you know, halfway between these because it's going to move like quarter pi to the, to the left. So the point pi over 2, 1 is going to now be pi over 4, 1. And the point pi 0 is going to be 3 pi over 4, 0. And the point 3 pi over 2 uh, minus 1 is going to be 5 pi over 2. Sorry, 5 pi over 4 minus 1. Okay. And the point 2 pi is going to be 7 pi over 4, 0. So everything moves basically like this. Okay. It's going to be something like this now. So all these points move to the left by pi over 4 units. So, of course, this would continue up and end up there. And this would stop because we only have to draw it between 0 and 2 pi. So I'm going to get rid of this part. Okay, it would go down to minus pi over 4. So we don't actually need that part. So that is now the graph that we wanted, which is y equals the sine of x plus pi over 4. All the x coordinates are translated pi over 4 units to the left. Okay, if it's fx plus something, it's going to be minus that something zero. That's going to be the uh, translation. If it's fx minus something, it's going to be that's that thing positive and zero. It's going to be the opposite of that sign, basically. That's how that, that works. So it's the opposite of that sign inside. So it's inside the function, it does it kind of, you can think of it like it does the opposite. All right, so there is the answer to this question. Okay, that's the graph of y equals sine of x plus pi over 4. Now, the next part of the question says, write down the x coordinates of all the points at which the curve C meets or intersects the x and the y axis. Well, the x axis, we've kind of already got those the, the values there. So the x axis... We can say that it's at 3 pi over 4, 0. And also at 7 pi over 4, 0. All right. And if you wanted to, you could test that by replacing the x with 3 pi over 4. If I put 3 pi over 4 instead of x, this is going to give me the sine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 4, which is the sine of pi. And we know that the sine of pi is 0. So that works. And the sine of 7 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is the sine of 8 pi over 4, which is the sine of 2 pi, which is also 0. So we know the sine of 2 pi is 0. So these, you know, these um, coordinates do match with where this will give you y equals 0. Remember, it cuts the x-axis when y equals 0. And where does it cross the y-axis? Well, it crosses the y-axis. We know the x-axis is when y equals 0, so the y-axis is when x equals 0. So what do we do? We take our equation, y equals sine of x plus pi over 4, and we replace the x with 0, so you have y equals the sine of pi over 4. All right, if you put that in your calculator, that will give you root 2 over 2. Okay, root 2 over 2. Okay, if you wanted to just confirm that, you make sure you calculate it in radian mode. And you press the sine of pi over 4. And you see it gives you root 2 over 2. Okay, so that means the coordinates of the point for the y-axis will be therefore 0 and root 2 over 2. Okay, it says write down the exact coordinates. So exact means in terms of pi, in terms of third form. 
So there's, there, those are our answers for part B. And that concludes this question um, as, as it relates to P1, the new syllabus P1, uh, since 2019, I think it started. Um, so I will stop there with this question. And if you want to know or you want to see part C, uh, you will find that in the playlist over here. Okay. Um, as you'll find this question and other questions from this paper, the playlist over here will have part C. And part C will also be under the playlist for trig equations, um, which is part of P2. So I'll save that also under the next play the playlist for trig trig equations of P2. Um, this is for the Edexcel International A-Level syllabus. Okay, other questions from um, the topic of uh, trig graphs, okay, um, can be found from P1, can be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from the topic of transformations of graphs in general can be found in this playlist over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the card that shows from the beginning of the video on to, you know, various times, that card uh, will take you to a video which explains to you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.